Returning to Queen's Park and another move today sparked in part by the Greenbelt scandal. The province is reversing plans to change the urban boundaries of several Ontario municipalities. It comes after questions were raised about how the process was handled by the former housing minister's office. Our Sean Lee Thungus in studio with more. Sean. Well, Michelle and Nathan, first it was the Green Belt, then it was a plan to expand urban boundaries. The government calls it a reset. The opposition calls it a stunning reversal. Reversing course for the second time in a month because the government says the process, their process, did not maintain or reinforce public trust. Clearly there was the process uh, is, was one that I was, I was just not comfortable with. I think there was just a little bit too much involvement uh, from the previous, uh, from individuals within the previous minister's office uh, on the official plans in these areas. First, it was the Green Belt. Today, the government's reversing course on a plan to expand the urban boundaries of a number of cities and regions. Minister Paul Calandra says the reversal will affect Barrie, Belleville, Guelph, Hamilton, Ottawa, Peterborough, Halton, Niagara, Peel, Waterloo, York, and Wellington County. This really is, is a reset uh, for, uh, for me as a, as a minister to work with uh, my municipal partners uh, so that we can remain focused uh, on working together. Former Minister of Housing and Municipal Affairs Steve Clark resigned in September in the wake of the Greenbelt scandal after a scathing report from both the Auditor General and Integrity Commissioner finding that some developers had been favoured in the process. After the government reversed course on the Greenbelt, Grimsby and Pickering both asked that the province repay nearly $400,000 they'd spent on preparing. Uh, the Premier has a capacity to uh, say it's never the wrong time to do the right thing and reimbursing the taxpayers of the city of Pickering is the right thing to do. Two weeks ago, it was revealed that the RCMP is investigating the process relating to the Greenbelt. The opposition had called for an Auditor General's investigation into the urban boundary expansion and say today's reversal is an attempt to avoid more scrutiny. I don't think the government uh, saw the light as much as they felt the heat of an RCMP investigation. The same corrupt process that led to the Greenbelt scandal was used in these urban boundary expansions. Hamilton Mayor Andrew Horvath said in a statement, this is a big victory for our city and for the protection of Hamilton farmland. Hamilton can meet our housing commitments without any changes to our boundaries and without opening up the green belt to development. Minister Calandra says cities and regions have 45 days to reach out and make changes to their official plans. The minister also says some urban centers will be eligible for reimbursement related to this reversal. Reporting live, I'm Sean Lethong. Nathan Michelle, send it back to you.